think uh, makes the Pace family so interesting? Well, Paces were some of the first settlers in around Saluda. Not in Saluda proper because our town wasn't established until three years after the railroad came. But over uh, towards 25 now, which was Poinsett Highway, there was a big settlement. And then out towards Howard Gap, there was another big settlement of people. And so the Paces had settled around 1800 over in the Mountain Page area. Who was the... Uh, Burl's father was named Richard Pace, and he had a, a brother named John Pace, and during the uh, British-American War, they fought on the British side, but Burl Pope Pace fought on the American side. And after the war, the uh, state of North Carolina confiscated their property. And Burl Pope Pace made a, a petition to the state of North Carolina, which is recorded in the archives of North Carolina, to get that property back. And they denied his petition, but they did give him a grant. So he, he, they were on opposite sides during that war. And he married there. Uh, the Paces had migrated from Surrey County, Virginia. They came to Jamestown, and Jamestown was established about 16 and 8, and they came in 1611. And Richard Pace was one of the first settlers there. And uh, the, there's uh, a memorial plaque to him in the oldest church in America in Jamestown. Uh, he had an Indian servant that when the Indians were going to attack Jamestown, uh, he had gotten this Indian boy about the same age as his son because he only had one son. And uh, he was supposed to kill the household, the master and his wife and the little boy. Well, he had been raised in a Christian home and he just couldn't do it. So in the middle of the night, he woke up Richard Pace and he said, uh, the Indians are going to attack at daylight. And so he secured his own household, rode across the James River to Jamestown, and they secured Jamestown and got a few of the settlers in to the fort there. Uh, but the ones that were out uh, several miles away, they couldn't get to to warn them. Well, uh, I had been to Spartanburg. I'd broke my glasses, and I went down to get my glasses fixed, and I came back on the bus on a Friday afternoon, and I met one of my schoolmates. I hadn't seen her in a while. And I said, go home with me. We, we'll go to the square dance tonight. So she came home with me, and uh, we went to the square dance, and she met this guy, and they had a date. So I, I wasn't dating anybody then. I was about 16 years old. And uh, uh, they had a date the next night, and we lived out near Saluda Cemetery. And uh, so I came to town, we walked to town and met the date and I said, I'm going back home. She said, oh no, you're not. I've never found my way back out there. So I was sitting in the car with them and uh, they was, we were sitting right in front of a little cafe in Saluda, which is, was located where Hartwood is now. And I looked over to my right and there was a, a boy sitting over in front of Lola Ward's store. And I said to this other guy, who's that boy sitting over there? He said, and he had a speech impediment. He said, oh, that boy, he, he named Paul Jones. Do you know him? I said, no, I don't, but I sure would like to meet him. So he goes over to this boy and he said, don't you tell him what your name is. I told you your name was Paul Jones. And so he came over and we rode to Tryon and then we came back. And this boy said, uh, he had to go home. And I said to uh, JB, I said, uh, do you have to go home? He said, no. And I said, well, why does he have to go home? Is he married with a house full of kids or something? <laughs> he said, no, but he's got a sister that's home by herself. So we rode to Hendersonville and come back. And uh, the next day, my mom and, uh, 
and we were going to her brother's down in Spartanburg, and and my stepfather was working in Saluda, and I said, I met this nice boy last night, and he lives right up here on this road in this house. I said, his name's Paul Jones. He said, no, that's not. Joneses don't live in that house. The Paces live there, and the, and the daddy had 29 children. So later on, I did find out he was right, and he was not a Jones. He was a Pace. <laughs>